The anterior total hip is a kind of a new on old technique. It's now been better perfected because of the instrumentation that we used to use for this was not quite as good. In addition to the implants have also been redesigned to accommodate an anterior total hip approach. The advantages of the anterior hip approach are decreased risk of dislocation. The number one complication within six weeks is usually a posterior hip dislocation. From the anterior approach, instead of being a 3% chance, it's about a 0.3% chance. So to put that in real numbers, one out of every 33 hip can expect to dislocate with a standard posterior approach that's in the literature. With an anterior approach, it's one out of 333 hips. So this is a very significant difference on posterior hip dislocation from anterior approach. The other thing is it's also a muscle sparing approach. You do not have to remove any muscles or take down any muscles or repair any muscles. It's a simple muscle spreading approach uh, with a smaller incision and, uh, and for most it does have an easier post-operative recovery. You can expect to have some rehab for uh, four to six weeks again just like the other hip uh, other replacements like the knee and the shoulder and your long-term results are very good. Hips last anywhere from 15 to 20 years.